final day of pool play. Uganda in the red. They say they want to show they, they can compete on the world stage with the best. Well, it don't get no better than the team you about to play. Team USA. Uh, the red, white, and blue have been leaving the competition black and blue. A couple of easy wins over Iran and Andorra. Neither team scored over seven points. I mean, it, it got circus ugly. Competition a little stiffer today with, uh, with Uganda, I think. And of course, a date with the reigning champs, Russia, on the horizon for Team USA. I doubt, I doubt that they scared though. Back in 2014, they won in the gold medal game against Russia. And Team USA waste no time getting on the board. Oh, Lamunu. Oh, she, she's a professional bucket getter now, 25 years old. She won four basketball awards the past year. Center of the year, player of the year in Portugal, import player of the year. Also recognized as the women's, by the Women's Basketball Coaches Association as Intercollegiate athlete, Athletics Player of the Year. I mean, she, she got the accolades. Will they translate to the court against a Team USA team? It looks like they're going to roll straight into the medal rounds, nothing guaranteed, but uh, they are tied atop the pool with Team, well, they were tied atop the pool with Team Russia. Russia started the day with a big win over Iran to move to 3-0. and Team USA trying to join them before that showdown later on this afternoon, and as the first free throw is missed. And the second free throw is made. Shout out Coach Carol Lawson, Team USA. Score on the inside from Gilded. Oh, the runner. Nothing happening though. And the two missed as well. Up fake. Where are you gonna go with it? Pull up. Missed. So here we go. Out of bounds. School. Stepped on the, the line there. Turns it over, so Uganda will be on the attack. And a finger roll. Yonescu is going to check out. As Bowley feeds it on the inside. Gildan couldn't get it to go. So to miss. So where's the offense gonna come? I don't think the Team USA is worried, but th there's the answer right there. Gildan, the eldest statesman, stateswoman I should say. Oh, good D. Even with, uh, with that length underneath just makes things so difficult on the offense when they get in and the sound defensive player. You don't see her leave her feet too much and, and that's a tribute to the coaching. Hands straight up. Working the two woman game here. Hebert hands it off. Yonescu on the move like Elise is up. Open like a double click and Foley connects. Oh, I just got to talk about how Hebert doesn't leave her feet, and there she goes, flying. Birdie. 5-3. <laughs> Uganda with the save. Uh, taste the rainbow as the two-piece splashes through. Uganda not going nowhere. Imani Shimwe doing the honors on the last bucket. Here's Imani Shimwe. FaceTime. Looking like me with my jumper 15 years ago. <clears throat> All right, 5-5. Five, five. Gildan, uh-uh. But the rebound, Hebert, have some. Team USA back out by one. Hebert gets a hand on it. And competition again, a little bit stiffer for Team USA today. 
Iran and Andorra with seven and six points respectively. And Uganda evens it up at six apiece. Gildan, oh, nice D at the rim, but a little bit too much on the follow through. Got some wrist there. Team USA barely broke a sweat the first couple, first pair of pool play games. 42 points scored, 13 conceded, as I, as I mentioned. And Gildan knocks that thing down. Gildan making her debut with this uh, USA national team. So another look. Bowley, yep. She's lost her whereabouts on the court. Turns it over. She's like, oh, man. All good. Got to have a short memory as a, as a basketball player. Forget the last play, because there's another one coming your way quick, especially in 3x3. 12 second shot clocks. Ain't no time to do anything. In terms of hesitation, questioning yourself. So that one air ball. Yonescu, Romanian born, setting it up. She got more game than EA. I was mentioning this, this, how decorated this USA team is. Nobody more decorated than her. Led the, the Ducks in scoring 20 points per game, eight assists per game, two steals per game. What does she not do? Everything. Except to make that shot right there. But then, that's a rare miss. Vanescu setting it up. Uh, through the lane. Oh, dying, dying. Hebert puts it up and in. Two point game. USA in front. Just over six minutes to play. Uganda. It's been a game so far. And listen, this one's starting off much like the first game of the day started with Iran really testing um, Russia. We're seeing uh, USA get a little test here. But another look at the no look from Yonescu. She sets the table. Unlike many players, all the up fakes. She got a birdie. Tweet, tweet. And the score on the inside. It's making this thing look easy. 9 6. Good hustle. Great hustle by both teams. I think that was Imani Shimwe. Yeah, she's going to check out. She will check out, and Nancy Combi will check in. Nancy Combi, 44 points at the 2017 Africa Cup. Tournament's top score, so she can put them in. Meantime, Team USA puts another one in. Oh, Hebert loses it. And Nancy Combi to the rack, Jack. And it's a three-point game. Bowley, pull up, misses it. Nancy Combi, good contest there by Hebert. So Gildan's gonna set it up. Uh, oh, good defense from Lagunu out there on the perimeter. So it's 10-7, our second game in the final day of pool play. What up, uh, if you're watching in the United States? Let us know what you think so far. Can USA take gold? They've done it in two or three appearances on the World Cup. 2012 gold medal, 2014 gold medal. Again, beating Russia in the gold medal game. The worst appearance was still a medal. As a, they took bronze in 2016. That's a golden move. Lamumu living a life like she's golden. Is that Jill Scott's home? Oh my Man. goodness, your your next school. Nice composure at the rim with the score. Not to call me right back at you, but she misses. Not 
Ryan Sikombi. Back to strike once again. Free throw goes down, so Uganda's still within striking distance, but they're not going to stay in it for long if Team USA continues attacking like this. They draw the foul underneath as Boldy will shoot one. Yeah, Boldy six foot two. Can really stretch the floor, shoot the ball. She was a member of the USA team that won silver at the under-18 World Cup in 2015, so she's got some 3x3 experience. Uh. Manishimwe couldn't get it from long range. Boli. Uh, deed up. Uh, baby, bad it, deed up. Turns it over. And now, Lamunu spinning. Broke her own ankles. You know you got some moves when you can break your own ankles. Another look. Boom. Drop step. Uh, tried to plant. Yep. Ankle breaker. Turns it over. So both teams going to get a, get a breather. Uganda trying to devise a strategy to trim into this four-point advantage the Team USA has jumped out to with under four minutes to play in this one. This is game two of pool play day number four. Want to show some love to our official suppliers, Sport Court, Sheldy Sports, and Magic Sky. Huge contributors to this 3x3 thing that's continuing to grow and grow and grow. Especially after last year's, almost a year to this date, it was actually two days ago, the anniversary, is Hebert gets the score, that we uh, heard the announcement that 3x3 will officially be an Olympic discipline for the first time. The composure, the touch on the two-piece from Boley as United States leads it 16 to nine. In case you don't know, I live in Los Angeles. Born and raised in the USA. No bias here. I just like to see good basketball straight up. And uh, it just so happens that Team USA, they play good basketball, real good basketball. 17-9, where it stands now, Yonescu, the swing through, looking off the defense, baseline. Nowhere to go, she's trapped. Oh, but she drops a dime anyway. She never has nowhere to go. She finds somewhere to go, 18-9. Yonescu, okay. Long on the shot. And Bowley, two ball up, two ball down. And it's 20 to nine. Team USA, a possession away from cruising to another dub here in Manila. And who else? Who else? Wet business, Yonescu. Says, uh, get the director's chair. It's a wrap. So, back to back blowouts. Uganda's gonna fall to one and two. And not shockingly, Team USA, three and oh after another win. So, we look back at the highlights. They score 22 yet again. And look like a strong contender for. A gold medal here in Manila. We'll see, we got some basketball left to play. We'll take a look at some of the, some of the work done by Team USA. And again, the next time we'll see them on the court, they'll be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mother Russia.